a dread chill descends upon the house, and mist rises in lazy coils from the floor. A voice clatters through the air. I must rest. Put my soul to rest. Or die. As the words fade, the spirit board you're carrying begins to throb matching the rhythm of your heart. Looking down at the board, you see the mist coil into letters on its surface. K-I-L-L-T-H-E-M-A-L-L Kill them all. Right now, your explorer is still in the game, but has turned traitor. Set aside a small purple monster token to represent the ghost. Set aside one triangular knowledge roll token and one triangular sanity roll token. If the pentagram chamber isn't in the house, search the room stack for it and put it next to a basement doorway, at least five tiles away from you, or as far away from you as possible. Then shuffle that stack. What you know about the heroes. They are trying to summon the ghost before you do. If they succeed, they'll gain control of the ghost and receive a quest to complete. If they fail, they'll try to destroy the ghost instead. You win when all the heroes are dead, regardless of who summons the ghost first. How to summon the ghost. You are racing against the other explorers to summon the ghost. To summon it, you must conduct a seance. While you have the spirit board, you can attempt a knowledge roll or a sanity roll of five or higher. During your turn, you can attempt only one of these rolls. On a success, take one token for the appropriate trait roll. When you've collected one knowledge roll token and one sanity roll token, you summon the ghost. If you succeed with your summoning before the heroes do, put the ghost token in the same room next to your explorer's figure. If the heroes succeed first, they will tell you what happens. If you summon the ghost first, ghost's declaration, say this aloud, I will have my revenge against the living. The Ghost. Speed, 4. Sanity, 6. You control the Ghost if you summon it first, or if the hero summon it first, but then fail in their quest. If your explorer dies, you still control the Ghost. The Ghost must move toward a hero during each turn you control it, attacking if it can. At the end of your first turn in control of the Ghost, the house begins collapsing. The first room to collapse must be the attic. If the attic isn't in the house, choose any unoccupied upper floor room. After that, at the end of each explorer's turn, tell that explorer to choose a new room to collapse. To collapse a room, turn the room tile over so its back is showing. A room can't collapse unless it is adjacent to another collapsed room. The adjacent rooms don't need to have connecting doors. If an occupied room collapses, all explorers in that room are killed. Once the entire upper floor has collapsed, Start collapsing the ground floor, beginning with the Grand Staircase. Use pentagonal item tokens to mark each of the Grand Staircase, Foyer and Entrance Hall as collapsed. Once the ground floor is gone, collapse the basement, starting with the basement landing. If the Mystic Elevator's roll would take it to a floor where there are no uncollapsed rooms with open doorways, then it does not move. Only the Ghost can move through collapsed rooms. The ghost can also move through walls as though they were connecting doorways, but not through floors and ceilings. Special Attack Rules No one can attack until after the seance has been completed. If the heroes control the ghost, they will tell you about special rules for attacking. The ghost makes sanity attacks, which inflict mental damage. Only a hero who possesses the ring, or a hero in the pentagram chamber, can attack the ghost, using sanity only. If the ghost attacks and rolls lower than a hero, it is not harmed.